Hello. We're going to get started here. The name of the band is Sweet Heat. My name is Tom Landrum. I'll introduce the guys as we go along. We have an octet here. We're going to start off with uh, something I wrote that's a blues with some uh, substitute changes in it. Uh, and you'll hear some people play some solos. And we'll get to them as we get to them. The name of this is Clan 145. How about two, two, one? Clan 145, that was Bruce Clark on trombone and Chris Bussell on tenor sax while we're at it. The trumpet players on the far side there is Dr. Dick Goodwin. You'll be hearing more from both of them later. There's Charlie Polk. He plays the lead part. Drums is Scott Burkholder. Bass is Terry Trentham. And the vocalist, who you haven't heard yet, but you're about to, is Eddie Stroud. We're going to play a tune. There's a real, um, it's a pretty standard of excellence among bands that have horns in them. Um, there was a band, is a band, named Tower of Power. Their bass player died about two weeks ago. He's a long-term bass player from the 60s. A guy named Rocco Prestio. Anyway, um, Tower of Power is, is, a, is a, actually taught in some music schools, and they are a, a just a, a paragon of, of what a horn band ought to be. Uh, and any of their any of their recordings over the past fifty years just stands up really well. Um, this one is from the late '80s. It's called Ball and Chain, and 
It's about a guy who's uh, uh, he's employed in corporate America, and it talks about how he has to kind of live. But anyway, it's ball and chain, and you'll hear there's no horn solos in here. Instead, there's what's called in the trade a horn soli. And um, the horns play most of this in unison with each other, so it has to be executed well. And um, this is a, an example of, of, of the kind of thing Tower of Power is, 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 does on a regular basis. Anyway, this is called Ball and Chain. <clears throat> Four. He's got his Playboy decal on his Corvette windshield. He's obsessed by sex, impressed by the rich. He's been. Chain. Thank you. We're going to sort of change pace here. Um, and this book I've written has about 45 arrangements in it. Um, and there's some original stuff. That first thing was original. Um, and there's a, a pretty um, mixed bag of music in here. Dick is kind enough to call it eclectic. Um, and I, I, I do appreciate him saying that. Um, but we have some soul music in here. We have, for example, tonight we'll play some Wilson Pickett. But right now we're going to play uh, something by the Impressions. Curtis Mayfield was a very respected soul music guy uh, from Chicago. And he uh, wrote a lot of socially conscious things in the 60s. And his career extended into the 90s, actually. But this one is sort of a gospel thing. Got some gospel stuff going on. Um, 
and it's called People Get Ready, and Eddie will sing it to you. I'd like to remind you, too, uh, if you would, to donate to colajazz.com. That's what pays for all this is all your donations. Thank you. People get ready, there's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage, you just get on board. And all you need is faith to hear the diesels humming. You don't need no ticket, you just thank the Lord. People get ready. impressions covered. Now we're going to continue in the, the soul music thing and this is a tune that Wilson Pickett did. At soul music for me has uh, sort of three branches. There's probably more than that. Um, there's Memphis Soul of the Otis Redding Booker T and the MGs thing. There's Chicago Soul which you just heard impressions and there's Atlantic Soul which is Aretha Franklin and which we have some, but we're not going to do tonight, and um, Wilson Pickett. Uh, this one is called 6345789, and Eddie will sing it for you. If you need a little love and call on me If you want a little hug again, call on me I'll be right at home All you gotta do is pick up the telephone And I'll six three four five seven eight nine six If you need a little love 
we're gonna switch gears a little here. There's a, a tune that, an album actually, what they used to call albums or recording, uh, by Miles Davis. It's probably um, one of the more famous recordings of the 60s, and it still holds up well. Um, it, um, it's called Kind of Blue, and it's got some classic tunes on it and some classic players. John Coltrane, Cannonball Adderley, Miles Davis, and Bill Evans was the pianist. And he was fabulous. Um, Dick's going to play some jazz for you on this, and then we'll have a little shout chorus, and we'll, we'll get done. Um, anyway...
Dick Goodwin. Right back there. All right. I've included a couple of tunes we did the last time we were here. and uh, it was back in August, uh, maybe 10 weeks. Um, and a couple of them people seemed to like from the comments. And two of them were uh, written by Jesse Winchester. Jesse Winchester was a songwriter. He grew up in Shreveport, military family, went to Canada during the recent unpleasantries in Vietnam. Um, and he came back and uh, had some fame as a songwriter. Um, this first tune had a cover by, I believe, Nicolette Larson. It's called Rumba Man. Uh, and I've done sort of a funk arrangement for it. And the other tune is I'll explain to you when we get there. Uh, but Rumba Man is, uh, you'll hear some some horn work and just let the band work out a little bit. And I'm going to sing it. Um, Eddie needs a break, so I thought I'd sing it. Um, this is Jesse Winchester's Rumba Man. Get it, Tom. One, two, I want. Same old guy that I used to be. I haven't changed at all. Got 
The same old dog, the same old wall, it'll love you up the wall. I got the same old face, the same old spa, the same old baby blues. And I'm still doing the wrong, but baby, I'm still the man for you. Yes, I'm still doing the wrong, but baby, I can't say the word. My mama catches us doing the wrong, but my mama would show up at your fit. It's much bigger than me If I were you, I'd hang on to A rumba man like me If I were you, I'd hang on to A rumba man like me All right, Jesse Winchester. Now, Tom, we that. will sort of change speeds. We're still in Jesse Winchester's lane. This shows you a little bit of the kind of range he had. This is a tune. Um, that I actually have a picture of it on my phone. It's a picture of my grand my grandparents' grave. It's got a, a creek next to it with mint growing. It's got uh, a cotton field. It's got a lot of the elements of this. It's got a dirt road next to it, next to the cemetery, in a real garden spot named Hollandale, Mississippi, up in the Delta, where my father grew up. Anyway, this is called Mississippi, You're On My Mind, and it describes that. And then I've taken a couple of uh, what I would call war horse uh, Protestant hymns. Certainly everybody recognizes Amazing Grace, and the, uh, the Baptists use softly and tenderly an awful lot. If you ever saw the movie um, The Trip to Bountiful, the closing credits are given, and a woman sings uh, softly and tenderly. So you'll hear that toward the end. Anyway, this is called Mississippi, You're On My Mind. I think I see a wagon rutted road with the weeds growing tall beneath the tracks and along one side runs a rusty barbed wire fence and beyond that sets an old tar paper shack Mississippi, you're on my mind. Mississippi, you're on my mind. Ooh, Mississippi, you're on my mind. I think I hear a noisy old John Deere in a field speck with dirty cotton lint. And below the field, Runs a little shady creek, and there you find the cool green leaves of mint. Mississippi, you're on my mind. Mississippi, you're on my mind. Oh, Mississippi, you're on my mind. I think I feel. The dusty weeds and old fat grasshopper jumps. I wanna make it to the creek before I All right, Eddie. We're gonna we're gonna get into some New Orleans music. If you watch last time, you know I'm from Baton Rouge, and I've done some things down in New Orleans over the years. Um, this is uh, last summer. One of the members of this group. He was named Charles Neville, his Neville brothers, Aaron Neville. His group was the Meters, and they were kind of the kings of funk down there. 
back when I was coming up. And um, this one is called Hey Pocky Way, and it's really pretty pretty basic to the repertoire down there. If you go to if you go to trip, try to play a job down there, and you don't know this one, that you probably won't get called again. So. <laughs> You know, the, the, just not that musicians up here need to know this, but if they do go down there, they need to know this one, okay? And I got the chords here for them. I got the words that they need to borrow it. I can Xerox for them, and they can do it. Um, hey, hey. Right. right. Jazz.com. Don't forget to donate. We need all we can get. Yeah. Let's do it. They are nice enough to have us in here, and the way they pay for this is with your donations. So um, we're, we're very supportive of that. And... Uh, We'd love to see we'd love to see some money come in. Um, this is Hey Pocky Way. Pocket way. All right. Now, we have we have a number of comedians in the band. It's, um, we have some people from Texas in the band. After one of them is our comedian back here, uh, and this next tune comes from a Texas guy. Who actually I, I met a long time ago. Uh, not that that matters. Um, 
And you probably, you're going to say, oh, my God, the captain is Neil. But it's really not true. I've, I shook this one up a little bit in the middle and got us into a Latin feel. And Dick's going to play some trumpet on top of this Latin feel. And um, you get to hear what a, what a fine trumpet player and musician he is. And I'll also clue you into something. We're, we're playing this in the key of E, which all horn players hate. Uh, and I used to be a horn player, so I know about that. But Dick will be playing in his key of D sharp minor, which um, I don't even know how to spell that with a computer. So anyway, you, you have to appreciate what he's doing here. You really do. Um, this is called Muskrat Candlelight. Willis Allen Ramsey wrote it. Muskrat, muskrat, candlelight Doing the town and doing it right in the evening It's pretty pleasing Muskrat Susie, muskrat sand Do the jitterbug Yeah. 
Great love. All right. Thank you. Now we're going to go back to New Orleans. Um, this is another one that's kind of basic to the repertoire down there. It's a kind of an interesting lyric. It's about, from what I understand, it's about um, two ladies discussing the collision of their two tribes' parades in, in Mardi Gras. And so um, it has kind of nonsense lyrics. I mean, Eddie's not making this up. We, we, th these are real lyrics, but they, they, they're, they're, they're very different. They're very different. And so um, you'll hear some people play, and we're going to get in kind of a New Orleans thing. And one of the things that you've been hearing Scott do a little bit, he did it on Mississippi or on my mind, which is a little bit atypical there, but certainly... Hey, Pocky Way, you see him doing kind of a, a cadence, a rolling on his drums. That's called second line drumming, and it's very, very basic to the New Orleans style. And um, it's, it's very effective. It's not the only way to drive a band, but it's a, it's a really effective way to drive a band. And I, I kind of, I, I, I really enjoy it. I guess that's because I'm, I'm from down there, and I, I kind of grew up with it. Um, this one's called Ico Ico. And you've, you've heard this in some movies and stuff like that. Um, but it's uh, just kind of a nonsense lyric, but it, it's, a, it's a nice New Orleans tune. <laughs> All right. One, two, I want. Jacoma 
right, Ico, Ico. We're going to do a thing I sort of came up with. I didn't really compose any of it. I kind of put it together. So I guess it's an arrangement. I call it FWIG. What that stands for is Fred, Wilma, Ira, and George. And there's kind of a mantra, I guess you would call it a mantra, uh, among jazz musicians, and all these guys up here are jazz musicians, um, and it's called Rhythm Changes. It's the, it's, it's the changes to I Got Rhythm, and I've even heard of music schools where you have to be able to improvise over rhythm changes in all 12 keys or else they won't let you in. And so um, this one is based upon the changes to I Got Rhythm, and it's, but at the beginning of it, it's the Flintstones, and you'll see who these, how these things kind of melt into each other. Um, you'll hear Chris play um, two choruses, and you'll hear Dick play two choruses, and then we'll kind of, uh, Scott will play a drum solo, and then we'll um, uh, end it up, which is, it sounds, it's supposed to sound like a cartoon, and I hope it does. Okay? <laughs> Fwig. Send in money. Yeah, you got to send the money after this one. Okay. ColaJazz.com. Donate. Cell on sax, Dr. Goodwin on tr trumpet. <laughs> Who is this guy? Donald's little brother. Okay. Fred. 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 Fred.
Um, Eddie's going to croon one for you. We have about three crooners in the book that I wrote, and I think this is one of the really one of the better love song kind of things that they have. Uh, this is called Since I Fell for You. When you just give love and never get love, you better let love depart. I know it's so, but yet I know I can't get you out of my heart. You made me leave my happy home. You took my love and now you're gone. Since I've
Eddie. Thank you. All right. We're going to close things down with some more Wilson Pickett. And I have played this, had played this tune a lot, and I decided to write, finally write an arrangement to it. So uh, Chris will play some of this, and you'll hear the horns do a soli that I wrote for him. Mustang Sally. Eddie will sing. Don't forget to donate. ColaJazz.com. Right. Thanks for listening. Yes, we do appreciate it. Amen. One, two, ah, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Mustang Sally, now baby. 
Thank you for listening and watching and giving. We appreciate it. The name of the van is Sweetie. Thank you. Gentlemen. Tom Lander. Tom Lander. Thomas. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. <laughs>